evening everyone today i've been driving my father-in-law's truck my the one that passed away that's the only one i've had um and we've been trying to sell it well today it rained and all of a sudden a check engine light came on so i'm gonna make a video on two things um number one show you where the obd2 port is on a 2010 f-150 and number two I'm going to use uh, an old app that I have um, on an old, I'm going to use it on an old uh, Android phone that I have. It's called Torque, an OBD2 reader. Um, it probably needs to be updated because I haven't had this phone for about six years, but I kept it just so I could use this program. So I'm going to show you that and then I'm pretty sure they got updates of it um for apple now when i first got this it only had it for uh android phones so if you find any of that interesting stick around thank you <clears throat> so here's billy's truck it uh it's pretty good shape i mean it's dirty because i drove it to work and at the job so as you can tell it's a little muddy at work um but the real problem is my new good sassafras uh, um, it's got a check engine light so the truck's got 67,000 miles on it it's a 2010 and uh, so here we go all right it's pretty hard to find but oh my god there it is there's your OBD2 port it's right under the uh, under the steering wheel and right in front of the brake pedal so there's one thing. So in order to use one of these um, programs, you need to get, I think they call it a dongle, D-O-N-G-L-E. Um, I bought mine on Amazon a while ago and it was very cheap. Um, but this is basically a Bluetooth device that reads the signals from your truck and it goes to your, in my case, an extremely old, cheap uh, Android phone. But I think, like I said, I think, and if I can find one, I'll put a link to it, but I think you can get uh, these this program for uh, Apple also. All right, the first thing you gotta do is insert your dongle into the OBD2 port. So there we go, and it's inserted, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little red light showing that it's connected. All right, so I'm gonna try and get the million year old phone to work. And go to the home. All right, so I got my million phone. This is the, the icon for it right there. So there it says I got the GPS off. No. And then hit check engine codes. Let's refresh into memory. All right, let me get it connected. But so I got the dongle in and the phone. So let me get this uh, connected. So as you can tell, I am downloading an update for Torque Pro OBD2 and something. So as soon as this gets downloaded over the Wi-Fi, because again, like I said, I have absolutely zero uh, Sprint anymore. Um, I will continue on with the joyful process of figuring out why I got a check engine light. So, stick around. Alright, so, as you can tell, I got it working now. So, um, I'm not going to go through the whole process of how you set this up. Um, I'm sure you can figure that out. But, it's time to figure out why we got the code. So, we're going to check engine. Oh, look. O2 sensor circuit bank one sensor one bank two sensor one huh so both O2 sensors um, are showing a fault so I don't think I'm not gonna do web lookup right now it's a P0150 I'll go inside and look it up but um, and then P0130 
So I'll go look those up when I get off of this, but you saw how simple that was. Now, what I'm gonna do is use this to um, Confirmed fault code found. P0130. Oh, that's good. O2 sensor circuit. Bank 1 sensor 1. Confirmed fault code found. P0150. O2 sensor circuit. Bank 2 sensor 1. So. Well, let's push menu. And clear faults. I'm going to clear them anyways and and my check engine lights off so now I got to go look at the codes and see what that is like I said it was raining and pretty hard and I went through a big mud puddle so hopefully that's what it is and if not you'll get to see some uh, corrective action but hopefully you see how effective and how cool this uh, program is just a second, I'll show you a couple more things. All right. Okay, let's go home. Torque. All right, you can get real-time information. Acceleration, revs, speed, boost, which we should have none. It's a negative. Temperature. And yeah, there's a speed run. Cancel. And see what we can find on here okay here we go intake temperature cat bank one they're both at 872 and 873 bank two circuit one intake fuel is at 67 and a half percent intake I have no data on that transmission temperature and horsepower well of course I'm not moving so anyways you can see and you can change all those screens around and it's all exciting so thanks for well hope you found this a little bit uh, not too exciting but uh, it's a cool app um, it's not sponsoring anything trust me on that it's just I like it and it works good and you can read codes and uh, you know you can clear codes if there's nothing that you think that you can do right now um so anyways if you get a chance take a look at that um and like i said i just went and looked and they have them for apple now um so you can get some for free and for this actual app i think it was 4.99 to get the uh full magilla gorilla so you can use it you can have your dongle hooked up and you can use uh like uh like an iPad or uh, uh, any kind of tablet to uh, mount it up and then you can use it for all your gauges so anyways thanks for watching I appreciate all the support and uh, have a great evening